What is up, everybody? Hold on, now I gotta switch my scene real quick. Hopefully you guys can see me. It's a little dark here. What's going on? How are you guys doing? Man, uh, I am excited to do this stream. I am super excited. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Elaheim. I uh, am a little bit vulgar. So if you've got kids or you are a child, please consider leaving. That'd be really great because I'm gonna say some stupid stuff. Um, I, I'm, I'm gonna say some stupid shit. I'm just gonna say that. We're gonna be playing some Tales from the Borderlands. If you don't know anything about Borderlands, all the better because this is a telltale game and we're just gonna start at episode one and we're gonna play a few episodes and we're just gonna have some fun, have some laughs. How's everybody doing in the chat? It's good to see you more. Hey, Anne Heal, Tricon, Leroy Simpson, Wizard Lan, Killer V, Squiver, Expert Gamer, Cow Cow Cow. What's going on? Flop and risk. Good to see you, man. Matt Chip or Matt Chops. I'm sorry. Uh, Charon, good to see you. Um, Balbot, all the mods here. I want to first thank uh, Yokescast for allowing me to jump on here and help out a little bit with the charity. Uh, if you guys want to support, and you don't have to, but if you want to, uh, you guys can purchase one of the Humble Bundles. You get some games. Uh, the money goes to charity. There is a nice free way to support, too, and that is that if you guys uh, want to help you know, raise some awareness for the stream, get some more eyes in here, every set of eyes that we get in here are potential people that we can uh, have that r to raise that money uh, for people you know, going through some stuff uh, that, that, you know, uh, we, we don't, we don't know about, you know, there's, there's, um, it's hard sometimes when we get in our everyday lives and we get in our routine to realize that there's other people out in the world and they're struggling, going through some stuff. So, uh, we do what we can to help, um, even kind of from a, from a disconnected point, you know? So anybody we get in here, that'd be great. Uh, on my Twitter, I put out a live message. I'm sure Yogg's cast probably did the same thing. Uh, if you guys want to help, like I said, nice free way is just to retweet it out. Let people know what's going on so we can raise as much money as possible to help out these people. Um, a little bit about myself. I've been streaming two and a half years, uh, a little over actually. Um, I mostly do variety streaming early in the morning uh, on Eastern time here in the uh, US of A. If you don't uh, recognize me, that's okay. I'm totally fine with it. I stream really early in the morning like 4 a.m. to you know usually about 10 a.m. so uh let's get into it uh let's do this shit man um let me go ahead and start up the game because I'm totally a professional streamer and this is totally well prepared and all that good stuff sorry it's so uh dark right now uh in the room um I usually stream in the mornings and then like the sun comes up so it's usually not an issue but I might have to do something a little bit different oh here we go Wait, what's going on? Oh, and I've almost done it, and now we've just got to capture the game, and here we are, and boom. Good? Oh, we're so freaking good. What's going on? Yeah, even darker now. Let me let me mess with it a little bit. I might be able to uh, change it up a little bit. So this is Tales from the Borderlands. It is a story game. We're going to be involved in a story together, guys. We're going to make decisions. Sometimes I'm going to ask you guys what you think. I'll stop it during that time. We can vote or uh, talk about what we want to do. Uh, but most of the, the uh, um, decisions I'll be making, I'll be commenting on the game. I'll just be having a good time. So that's pretty much what I do. Let me go ahead and go into my settings here. Oh, that's why it's not. There we go. A little bit better, guys. There we go. There we go. There we are. Try turning the light on. I don't like to stream with the lights on when I'm when I'm streaming. It's weird. I just I just don't. I just don't like it. So you ha you and your glorious beard are amazing. So glad you're doing this. Nankus, you're amazing. The way you type is exquisite and it makes my my pee pee do things. So, I'm so ready for this. I am too. The only thing that, uh, this is the first Hello stream I've ever seen that hasn't started off with audio problems. I know, I know, it's so crazy. I have only streamed the first episode of this game. I am gonna go back through the first episode because I think it's important that you guys get some context and start the story at the beginning. After that, we'll probably go into episode two. After episodes two, two is done, depending on time, we'll see if we can hit episode three. Um, so let's see, let me uh, mess with the volume just a little bit. And my computer's being weird and not letting me do that. So I might just do it in the settings here. Boop. And I'll be sure to turn on subtitles. No, we'll turn music volume down a little bit. We'll put master volume, leave it where it's at and we'll leave subtitles on. 
Uh, you guys tell me if it's too loud or too whatever, and yeah, I think we're good actually. I typically tend to to um, I typically tend to do more evil playthroughs. Like I try to do the most fucked up stuff that I can. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna explain that gummy clown at all. Uh, so if I make evilish choices, it's probably because I just like to see what happens. A lot of people play these games and they do good choices, and I just, uh, I don't know. I think it can be a little boring sometimes, so I don't know. So I like, I like to do it. It's perfect. We're good. Yeah, I'm so glad he's enthusiastic. I, I yell a lot too. I'm real loud. I'm real freaking loud. Music too loud. Okay, hold on. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we get it. It's freaking epic, okay? <laughs> All right. Okay. See, I did episode one, so it's wanting to start me off at episode two. But we are going to go do episode one. And we're going to change our save file so that it is a brand new game for us. Uh, that should do it. Episode one. Are you guys ready to start? Never seen this game looks epic. It's hilarious. Guys, we're going to have, we're going to laugh our asses off. Okay. It's going to be good times. If you know about Borderlands, you'll probably uh, recognize some of the characters and stuff, but you don't have to know Borderlands to enjoy this at all. It's freaking hilarious. We're going to have a good time. It's impossible for you to have a bad time. If you're having a bad time here. You're not a fun person, all right? You're just not. I'm sorry, and that's okay. Maybe you have other skills. Like you're really good at at making out with things. I don't know. We're starting this shit, and I'm gonna try not to talk too much during the cutscenes and talking portions of this game, which is quite a bit. This series, er, wait, this series. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. And remember, guys, we are here for charity, so Back please can oh. to hear another story of immense fortune and unthinkable peril. Well, I have some time. The borderlands of Pandora were told to contain mysterious alien treasure troves filled with advanced technology. No and way. Incredible power. Whoa. Vaults, the people called them. And to seek one out was to earn you the title a vault hunter. At least by me. You could say Handsome Jack was one such explorer, though his methods could be seen as uh, somewhat unsportive. He ran the corporation Hyperion and died trying to claim Pandora as his own. History's attention is fickle, my friends. It will remember those pirates like Handsome Jack, but forget the adventurers who risk it all for less uh, obvious rewards. History's a bitch. Stories, legends, those are much better at getting at the real spirit of things. Stories remember both sides of the tale. Mm, you get it? They said tale because it's the, it's the tale of the Borderlands. They had to, they, well, by the time we're done, they'll probably say the title of the, you know, whenever they do that in movies, it's like Bruce Willis, and he's like, man, I don't want to die hard. And you're like, oh, they said the, the title of the movie in the movie. It's so clever. I see, I see where they were going with that. The fuck are we looking at? There's a lot that when I stream this, it was like probably a year plus ago. It's been a long time. The whole game has released like every episode since I played it. So I don't remember a lot, actually. I just remember thinking this guy reminded me of Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah, take a shot every time they say the title. Fiona! Come on, we can work this out! What, uh, should I watch this if I've never played Borderlands and plan on playing it in the future? You should be totally fine. This is a standalone story. Well, is there some sort of radiation leak I don't know about? <laughs> Our main character. I'm getting some kind of weird audio feedback too. I don't know if you guys are hearing that. 
It's minor, but annoying. Will you play the whole game? I'm going to do at least two episodes. Oh, shit. Uh, who are you? What is happening? Uh, who are you? So, who are you? I ask the questions. Okay, then. Do you mind asking yourself who you are? <laughs> oh, you. Oh, you. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? Tell me about the Gordas Project. <laughs> Is that what this is about? <laughs> Look, Gordas is bad business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on E. Okay, 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 okay. Don't be That's his penis. Honest. That. I'm not a patient person. He was gonna shoot it. That's why he was. He was threatening him. Just I don't know if you guys got that either. Start when you're <laughs> getting dragged through the desert and uh... from the beginning. Right. All right, so we're starting from the beginning of the story. It's a little boring at the beginning, I think. Uh, I remember it taking a little bit to get to get interesting, but it got funny real fast. No, not my penis. I guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. And Handsome Jack, he was the you baddest so guy of them all. Long. It must feel good I to find to be it, just you know? like him. Take it. It's yours, right? <laughs> I mean, you always said that. <laughs> Everyone did. I gotta be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but, uh, but hey, here Which we are. Which resulted in a company overflowing with assholes. <laughs> Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. It took some time to fit in. But a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends, I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. Scratch that. Our lives. For the better. I was a little distracted. It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was concentrating on the important things. Does anybody else feel like he's... Like he's, uh, Jerry Seinfeld. Does anybody else see that? What's up, buddy? It's our best friend. You're getting a fraction of what he earns. You'll be rolling in it. Being an exec in Hyperion comes with expectations. It's not about money, Vaughn. It's about the respect it gets you. Yeah, you know who talks like that? Poor people that no one likes. Respect, it's nice, you know, but it's not nicer than a summer home on Eden 7. Eden 7? Priority Street. We're meeting with a vet afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep. Sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now. Because you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mine deal we put together. We made it. People have to work somewhere, right? Hey, hey. We made it. Okay, we're in this together. If I'm moving up, we're all moving up. You can be certain of that. I appreciate that, Reese. You know... People around here have short memories when it comes to that stuff. Not me. I'm you, good. Me, Yvette. We're gonna run this place. Yes, we are. With my multicolored eyes. All right, man. Let's get that Hyperion face on. Oh, right. Yeah. All right. Hyperion face. Blank stare. Raise eyebrow. Fake smile. Sneer. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, we need some condescending. It's a little too friendly right now. Okay, tell you what. Tilt your head back, uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. How's that? There you go. <laughs> Perfect. You don't respect me at all. Perfect. Mr. Henderson? Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a second. No, I wasn't talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you now. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want it in red. I want it in blue. Because black is better. Look, don't concern yourself with why. Whose voice is that? Name it in the chat. Concern yourself with how. And just send the car over when it's ready. Company car. Didn't even have to ask. Mmm. You look surprised to see me, Reese. And if I'm reading the situation right, and I usually am, you're not too happy about it either. 
This all came together quick. So, you might not have been in the loop, but it's for the better. I was promised a promotion, damn it! Uh, Henderson promised me a promotion. I see. Well, Henderson is out, so... You're going to be reporting to me now, Reese. And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Cause I... But this is about more than that, Reese. It's about your future in this company. Mm hmm? Look, you want to know the reason why I'm in that chair? And... Hold on, I want to pause this for a second. Everyone's saying Kronk? No, you're wrong or Joe Swanson, or any other freaking person you just said. The only answer to whose voice is this is motherfucking Brock Sampson from Venture Brothers. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, start watching Venture Brothers yesterday. Get it and watch it. Start at episode one. It's the best thing you'll ever do. That and Rick and Morty. Sorry, I'm going to continue. You're not. For the exact same reason why North is North. Why the handsome guy always gets the girl... And why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cock. It's true. It's destiny, race. And men, real men, men like me, make their own. And you could hold a grudge if you like. No harm, no foul, your thoughts are your own. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Sometimes men find themselves standing in the way of other men's destiny. You don't want to be that man. I think that's Henderson. Wow. I could not have timed that better. That really helps dramatically make my point. <laughs> Which is this. This promotion is going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny and put you on your own path. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to... Jerry, why isn't my new car digistructing in my office yet? Vasquez, it's August. Oh, August. Uh, yeah, cool, listen. Uh, I actually have somebody here with me, so... Uh... Are you buying this vault key, or what? Because I... How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. Of course I'm still interested. I... Yes, I'm near a computer. Ten million. Yeah. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. I mean, I'm not trying to be obstinate, but I need time. Uh, we should look at things. Um, let's uh, look at Henderson. Three years sucking up to the guy. Out the window. Yeah. Literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, but I'm gonna look at the, I'm gonna I'm gonna rotate the computer screen. Do you want the money or not? Because. It's not. No, it won't be. Pla press Q to activate Echo Eye. <sighs> Detective yes. Batman shit happening right now. Let's scan Henderson. Saul Henderson. 47 years old. His sign is Pisces. Senior VP of Security Propaganda Former. Favorite donut that kind with the sprinkle status. Not well. <laughs> Thank you for that. What a waste. No, no. Such a nice suit. Uh Vasquez, let's scan him. Uh, look, look, look. Are you going Hugo P. Vasquez, species Homo sapien. Origin Demophon? Demophon? I don't know. 35, blood pressure, personal catchphrase, rock and roll, lock and load, ain't no thing, ironically. Uh, let's... Holographic computer monitor, expensive ca uh, class high, currently viewing one encrypted file. Download and decrypt. La 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 la. So you guys having a good night? An e uh, good evening, I should ask? How are you guys doing in the chat? Why are you trying to screw me on this? Fine, just wait there, okay? I can only be down it. If it's gonna be ten million dollars, I'm gonna need another hour or two. Okay, yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Well, then just stay there. It's a tourist shop, right? Buy a mug or something. 
Sure. 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 Okay. Say hi to your mom. Damn it. What's going uh, on? Oh, right. Now, uh, what were we talking about? Before we were so rudely interrupted. Something about a vault key. Uh, I think it was something about buying a vault key. Right? Oh, just like that. Buying a vault key, right? You're like a kid sounding out the words. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your uh, promotion. Anderson was a fool. He didn't know his place. He needed lesson number one. Hey, what's up, Berenice, uh, Berenice? But you, I respect you, Reese. That's why I'm going to make you assistant vice janitor. <gasps> no, no, you, you, you can't. I'm the boss now, Reese. I do whatever I want. Report to Sewage Scout 23. Effective immediately. Well, at least he's like senior vice janitor. He could have just been a regular janitor. You better get an eye installed in the back of your head. Because you, you never know when like, I could be creeping up behind you. <laughs> he just punched I'm him. your boss, Reese. Get used to that. This is what I'm talking about when I say humility. That was lesson number two. Don't make lesson number three about a number two. What? Don't make me crap on the floor and make you clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> You're dismissed, Reese. You know you have too much power in the world whenever you poop on the floor and you get someone I'll else let to you clean know it. When I need my trash can emptied. Like babies? Babies can get away with shitting on the floor and then someone else has to clean it. Babies have too much power. That's all what I- What the hell was that? He can't do this to us! He just did. No. No, no, this can't be happening. I'm finished, though. I'm finished. You know this place is. There's blood in the water! And everyone can smell it! No, 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 they can't. Not yet, unless you don't quiet down. We just gotta keep it on the down low until we figure something out. It's not that bad yet. Senior Vice Janitor Reese to Sector <laughs> for trash cleanup because that is your job now to clean up trash with your bare hands. Sorry, you were saying something, <laughs> I interrupted you. Reese, why are you cleaning up trash? I thought you were getting a promotion. Trash duty seems like the opposite of a promotion. Henderson's dead. What? Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, you can ask him yourself. He's floating outside in space! It's that prick Vasquez. <sighs> he threw Henderson out of an airlock and demoted Reese to Trash Man. Holy crap. Get it? So, does that mean you're not buying? We have friends. And that's why friendship is going to see us through this. Well, just try and lighten the mood. And I didn't bring my wallet, so if someone pays for me... I'll tell you who's going to pay. Vasquez. I don't know if he's the type we to... We can't let that prick get away with this. We need to do something. He just killed a guy. Maybe it's better we lay low for a bit. What? No way. We hit back. We steal his deal. We steal his deal. What? Yes! That is what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? Vasquez set up a deal on Pandora for a vault key. Whoa. That must be why he got the promotion. The only thing Hyperion cares about more than money is its vault keys. It's perfect! I mean, not only do we screw over Asquez, we have a freaking <laughs> vault key. What are they worth? Like a billion dollars? Guys, did you hear that joke? He said Asquez instead of Vasquez. Oh, man. The wordplay alone. I mean, it's... Did you guys, you guys get it? Cause it's, cause it's his name, but he changed it and he put ass in there. Dollars? More. Yeah, but we need that Vaughn. Dollars right so now. So clever. Deal. Hold please. Done. I'm not gonna lie. That was impressive. I'm in accounting. I mean, it's what I do. 10 million bucks is chump change around here. 
time anyone notices, we'll have a vault key. Cool. Well, looks like you boys got it all figured out. I'm gonna go eat. Alone? Yes, I Call fucking me. get it. Get killed, whoa, 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 right? hey, hey, we need your help. <laughs> we need clearance, transportation. You're a requisitions master. We need that stuff. Yeah, maybe a loader bot or two. Well, things get dicey. Look, it's one thing stealing from a bunch of poor suckers on Pandora. You're talking about stealing from Hyperion. But we're friends. Friends help each other steal stuff. Yeah. That's how it works. Richter used to steal candy bars. His family still doesn't know where the body is. Richter was an asshole, and his family are assholes. <laughs> He's a vet. You want me to get stuck in the awful existence of being a janitor? Vasquez really screwed us, didn't he? Fine. But I'm still hungry. No problem. We only got a couple hours. <sighs> Go withdraw the cash. I'll get you guys clearance to Pandora, get you geared up, and issue you a standard Hyperion town car. What? Standard? Really? I mean, you can't spring for premium? Seat warmers, maybe a convertible or something? Sure, yeah, a convertible. So, just so I got this straight, you want me to get you a car to drive around Pandora that leaves you less protected? Wait, are you guys saying that it- wait. I mean, it's not ass funny when you explain it. Happy Ninja, you are- you are a wordsmith. Right? I get well, it. It just- you're gonna steal something, I uh, figure- no. Yeah, this is the very first episode right no, at the beginning. It hasn't picked up at all. You're if you see if you're here now, you're in a good spot. The story so far, we were up for a promo promotion. We didn't get it. The guy who got it is an asshole, demoted us to senior vice president janitor. So we're gonna buy a vault key that he wanted to purchase to fuck with him. Now things will get interesting. Oh, it's starting to warm up in here. Excuse me, guys. Uh, if you haven't considered uh, purchasing the Humble Bundle for charity, please don't let me taking off my hoodie uh, get in the way of that. <sighs> oh, it's so warm and, and a little sticky. Oh. Mmm. Charity streams make me so hot. Uh, oh god, okay. Okay, there we go. What do we even- oh, What do we even Ronnie? hit? Why? Oh, I hope that wasn't like Ronnie, a really ugly person. What would you cross right there? Oh, crap. I think we- I think we killed it. Are we murderers now? Are we murderers? We're murderers. <laughs> We're murderers. Great, great, we murder. You know, I, I what about the car? 20 seconds before that happened. Vaughn, I'm more worried about the dent in the car, okay? First of all, it's Vasquez's company lease. And second, I'm sorry that I break for birds yeah, or whatever, yeah. but <coughs> you wouldn't break for monster birds. That thing was a, a nightmare creature. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nightmare creature. It's still moving, too. They didn't even take care of it, man. So... What do we say if someone asks where we got the money? What do you mean? Well, I mean, what do we tell people? I, I only played episode one. <laughs> For the people who are just getting here, I only played this first episode uh, about a year plus ago. Uh, so we're starting from the beginning. So I've seen episode one. We're also going to play episode two, though, and I, I don't know what happens in episode two. I have not played past episode one. Oh, not to tell them that we stole it's for charity. Years. That would not go over well. I just think we need a plan of some sort. Yeah. We just say it's for charity. What does that even mean? We say it's uh, some sort of open a vault for Pandorans kind of deal. People love stuff when it's attached to a charity. They hardly ever question their intentions. <laughs> so, this Feel free to donate. <laughs> what are you looking at? It's Pandora. What did you expect? Yeah, no, I know. Uh, I might go episode three depending on time. That I have ten million dollars chained to me is all. In a neighborhood, I might add, of back planet nut jobs. Fine, don't be such a wuss. You know, when you say things like that, I sometimes forget you're pretending to be the guy who would say things like that. Yes, it, wait, what? Okay, look, it's a boring, dusty old town. Nothing more, all right? Yeah, guys, just don't question anything. Just buy the humble bundle, all right? Just. Can do it, all right? Don't look into anything. 
Just fucking throw your money at us. It's for charity, people. Sure. Listen. One tap on the arm, and Yvette can send down a loader bot if things get too entertaining. That's true. And she gave me this. It is a stun baton. I do not know how it works, but it's definitely neat. Yeah, stick. Neato. God, I can't wait to be in that chair. You, and me, Yvette. I mean, we bring this key back, and they're gonna make us the once and future kings of that place for sure. They'll send in a crew to use the key. And then that's it? Then it's kick back on the moon beach time. Yeah, yeah, we'll pop champagne and everything after we get back with the key. Ah, come on, it's in the bag. Shave your beard at 700k? There's no way I could do that. I didn't sign up for this. I didn't know I put my beard on the beep, line. Beep, beeping, but I don't see the place. Hold on a second. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, I have something. I have, I'm sorry, I keep pausing it. I have something. Where, where are we at right now? Where are we at? Like, what, what's, what's the amount of money that we've, that we've raised? This is going to be weird that I'm just going to pull this out, but I, 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 I am a streamer and I have this, these things just for this occasion. And I'm willing, I'm willing to make a deal with you guys. All right. I totally forgot I had these. My mom actually bought these for me for Christmas last year because she wants to punish me. Okay, so right now we are at uh, 657,461 dollars and 43 cents. Okay, hold on. Let's see. I have with me right now sm smoked oysters. All right. I have squid and these are in I want to reiterate these are in cardboard boxes in yeah. Okay? And the last thing I've got is octopus and garlic sauce. All right? Okay, we've got these these three pretty not so you know maybe in another country these are delicacies and these are wonderful. In my country, this is fucked up food. All right, so yeah, um, it's pretty fucking scary these things. And this was from a while ago. So I am willing to eat one of these things live on stream, but. I am only going to eat one of these live on stream is if during the portion of me streaming here that we reach a certain goal. Let's be reasonable. What goal can we shoot for so that I eat one of these fucking disgusting meals? Let's talk. The current total the current, to I'll do this to myself for charity. I will. No other reason would I ever do this to myself, ever. 660,000, 665K. Everyone's going 660. I don't know. I don't know if I like 660. I don't think that's pushing ourselves. I think. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, 666k seems legit. I'm thinking 665. By the time this stream is done, $665,000, I will eat one of these. The whole can of one of these that we will decide when that happens. 666. 666k. Did I say 65k or 66k? I think we should do 66. I think that's funnier for charity. You know, for Satan. Uh, what? So here's the can of it. This is the can of the squid, if we choose that. That is a full... Yeah, we'll straw pull it. We will. We'll straw pull it. I'm thinking... I'm thinking... By the way, are you hosting yourself from your channel, Elham? I am, uh, Swak. I am, yeah, definitely. 
Yeah? Yeah, 666K? I think, I think that's definitely what we should do. Okay, so it's been decided. If by the time I'm done streaming, and we'll assume I have to go through at least two episodes, maybe three, but at least two, if we are at 660, 660K, 66K, sorry, I keep fucking it up. 666K, I will eat one of these for you guys live on stream, like right when it happens. So 666K, that's the deal. Is that reasonable? Is that, are we, are we good? Are, are we, we good, good people? people? Are, are we, we good? good? Please just play. Oh, I will. Well, there will be plenty of playing. Every second that I sit here and talk about it is time for you guys to donate too. So, I feel so bad for you. Don't. This is this is what I do. I if if my contribution to this is to get in front of you guys and I can get in front of you guys, raise some money for a fucking good cause, and all I have to do is power through some really disgusting food. I think that that's the least I can fucking do for people around the world going through all sorts of different shit. That's that's my part. I don't think that's realistic. Maybe it's not. I don't know. We'll see. Do you want a straw poll for what you eat? We'll 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 straw poll when we get there for sure. We'll straw poll when we get there because here's what I'm hoping by the time what I'm hoping is that you guys will will get on your social media, tell your friends, get on forums, whatever, and we can get people in here and we can start, you know, getting those donations going. And then by the time if we hit this, by the time, if we hit it, uh, we'll have enough people in here where we'll make everybody's vote count then. Um, so we're not wasting any time until we, until we get to that point. So I, I don't know. It may be too much. But we'll, oh, see, probably won't be able to get this much with 3K people. Well, let's get more people. Go. Bring me more. We'll figure it out. It's just for fun. We'll see. I don't know. Whatever. If we don't hit 666, I'll be okay. Let's do this. World of curiosities, right? Yeah, do you see it? No. Could ask one of them. They seem normal-ish. Normal-ish enough. Anyway. What an excellent idea. I thought so myself. All right, so now we're in town. We're here for the deal. We're going to try to screw over Vasquez, who fucked us over by not giving us our promotion and promoting us to senior vice president of janiting. Of janiting? Is janiting a word? Of being a janitor. Of janiting. Of the janitorial arts. I think that sounds better. What movie was that? I don't know. If everyone in chat donates $2.70, we will have it. Maybe it's a little much. We'll see where we're at after episode one, and we'll reevaluate where we're at. But I'm thinking 666 six, six, six is the number. We'll see, though. Uh, let's look at this guy. Oof, not a very handsome fellow, is he? We don't have all day here, Reese. I'm starting to think that 660 might be more realistic. I don't know. Let's see what happens first. We'll reevaluate after episode one. Why does he keep saying Vasquez's name wrong? Did I? I'm sorry. Do you know where the world of curiosities is? Uh, it should be around here. You lost. Um, what are you here for? Ah, uh, uh, why do you care? Uh, simple business Just deal. A simple business deal. A few papers to sign, and then we're out. Easy. Huh. Those the papers? Of a sort? You're Hyperion. You egg suckers ruined this town, you know that. Atlas were bastards, but at least they had the good sense to fail. When Jack came in, he turned everything to smoke. Oh my God! Who called in the wambulance, huh? <laughs> you don't know where the world of curiosities is. Stop wasting our time and just tell us, so we can move on to the next hole of garbage that you people call a suburb and see if their morons know any better. <laughs> you know, I thought today was gonna be boring. 
I didn't sign up for that whole line of dialogue when I clicked the button. What's in the case? Hey, kitty cat, show us what's in the case. <laughs> okay, now, look, before we get all bent... <laughs> oh. Is there, like, a convention or something? <laughs> <laughs> Bandits. You know what we got here? Reese, do the. We got a couple Hyperion warmongers, gentlemen. The bot, Yvette, prime it. Already? Really? Just. <laughs> Give me the menu. Okay, but don't go bananas. Uh, okay, we gotta pick the. Hold on, guys. And do, you know do we want riot shield or machine gun? Do you know Guys, and our primary, our primary right hand weapon, do we want a shield or do we want a machine gun? We don't have to straw poll. Let me know in the chat. Is the streamer a bearded Shia LaBeouf? Yeah, Shia LaBeouf is bearded. He's already bearded. I'm just Shia LaBeouf. <sighs> do it, machine gun. I knew it. Okay, we're going with the machine gun. We do. Secondary. Do we, what we do with Hyperion worker. Secondary. Do we want? Oh no 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 no! Hold on, sorry. On. Do we want the sticky longbow grenades? It does electric uh, electric uh, electrocute damage per second. A lot of it. Or do we want the rocket launcher? Multi kill deals explosive damage. So what, what, what do we got, guys? We got sticky longbow grenades, or we got rocket launchers? Nothing is impossible! Nades? I'm thinking nades. Oh, shit! You sure you want to stick with that story? Okay, okay, maybe I didn't, you know, technically die, but I could have. Guys, there's a time limit on that. Okay, now, look. Before we get all... Yeah. Sorry bent. about that. <laughs> Is there like a convention? I guess in the middle of a confrontation, you don't have time to consult your friends on what bot you're going to bring down with what weapons to slaughter your enemies. They don't give you that kind of time. We got a couple Hyperion warmongers, gentlemen. The bot. Vet, prime it. Well, that's the end of the stream, kids. Had a good time. Already? Really? Just All right, we're going. We're going machine gun rocket launchers. Okay. Speed run with it. Okay, machine gun. I thought. I, I don't know. Should we? Uh, you know what? I'm. I'm gonna go with grenades. Sticky longbow grenades. We're doing it. Do you know what we do? Should we tell them what we do with Hyperion workers? Let's launch this shit. Rockets? Ah. Uh, what about rockets? Okay, fuck it. We're, get, we're getting we're getting rockets. Okay, there, there. Go. Sorry, I couldn't decide. Time to clock in. Listen, boys, you're gonna hand over that case, or you're handing over your heads. Your choice. Look, guys, let's talk about this. Everyone's like, no, yes, no, yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh man, I forgot how much I like this Got scene. Quiet all of a sudden. Hi. <laughs> Kill them all. Why isn't it doing anything? <laughs> Just sitting there taking. It only does what I tell it to. Oh, tell it to do something already. Please stop shooting me. Uh, uh, uh. Freeze! Do something! I'm doing it! Make it do something! Please stop shooting me. Engaging target. Please stop shooting me. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh god. Uh, 
I feel like I should have shot the car there. <laughs> Please stop shooting me. You must really have to go. That is not good. Come on! Is there any anywhere? Oh shit. These cost so much. Thank you kindly. Wait, 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 wait. Oh shit! Uh, Loader bot, go get the car. Stop. Oh shit. I'm gonna fuck you. Uh I wish I would have hit that guy on the ground. I don't know why I didn't. I feel so dumb now. Uh. Oh fuck. Okay, we're in we're in trouble. <laughs> He's got a little no like a little. Yeah. I totally forgot about this shit. Should I know? Your freaking bot tossed us both out. Now kindly stand still and die. Oh shit! Uh, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Beep. Boop. That's all I wanted to know. We could have avoided all of this. Ow! Get your ass gone! Ow! Okay, okay, okay. Loader bot. Put the car down. Sure thing. Bandits. Bandit. <laughs> Please do something. A new subsystem requires your attention. All right, we'll have to improvise. Time to get funky. Uh oh, here we go, guys. All right, we're doing it again. Weapons. Wait, oh, optimize. Sorry, we're not doing anything again. Uh, sorry, I don't need you guys' help on this one. It violates the agreement code. <laughs> Customizing weapon system. Weapon efficiency 110% by combining the rocket launcher. Thank <laughs> you. 
engaging disproportionate. Fatality. <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> Uh, well, we could. Oh, <laughs> oh, he's the best friend I've ever had. Thanks, Loaderbot. Oh, no. This is totally uncool. Why must the universe punish the good? <laughs> no, Loaderbot! Please. The spirit is weak. Let me go. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry. Good night, sweet princess. I will name my firstborn Loderbot. Oh, you know. Probably not. I, I'm sorry, Chet. I had to blow him up. Alive. He would have wanted that. I mean, I, I never want to see somebody's brains come out of their nose. Not ever again. That, that was the single scariest experience of, of my entire life. Guys, I warned you. This is an evil playthrough. Kind of. I, I don't know why I blew him up. I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me. I, I just saw it and I thought you... I would get a response out of you guys, but now you're yelling at me. Which should probably be over by now, but it's not. For some reason. But for those guys, a lot of those guys, it's over now. Reload, I'm not okay with this. I mean, I'm sorry. Brains. Just, just like, like snot. Yes. Okay, that was awful. I agree, but we got through it, you know, and that probably shouldn't have happened. At least now we know we can handle ourselves. If and... what? If brains ooze out of people's noses? Well, yeah, basically. Guys, I know a lot of you are... I know a lot of you are dealing with some emotions right now based on what happened. Um... There we go. I guess you sort of have a point somewhere in there. All right, let's just find this guy, August. Buy the key. Get the hell out of here. He was so young and beautiful. <laughs> he was he was so appropriate. Now I'm gonna look at things with my with my echo eye. Alpha Skag. Diet literally anything. Habitat wherever it wants. Weak points, good luck. Existence of Alpha Skags indicates that there is a certain hierarchy in Skag's so uh, social structure. One in which the biggest jerks apparently boss everyone else around. Hey, just like ours. Uh, this is a spider ant worker. Likes its territory. Dislikes things on its territory. Spider ants are burrowing insects commonly found in the areas of open ground, which will attack anything that treads on their territory. Also, many of them are racist and hate that restaurant you love. It's good to know. Uh, let's go back. Move a little forward. We can maybe look at some other stuff. Is that is that it? Is all I get to look at right here? Okay. Hello, you are amazing, Domino Tipper. I just want to love you. Come touch my my man boobs. Do you love me? Do you love me enough? Is this lust or is this love? Thanks for the kind words, man. Appreciate it. Ugh, does every animal on this planet have to look like a giant monster? Maybe. Let's scan it. The bully mong. Bully mong. Bully mong killed in frozen waste. Intelligence low. Speed fast enough. Strength fucking high. Twice the arms for twice the fun. They're the pet for everyone. The bully mong jingle by Horace Blitzsmith. Marketing exotic pets. This, you make me feel, chat. You make me feel, you make me feel like a natural gamer. Gamer. Ooh. 
Man, I hit that G. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? I'm like Christina Aguilera. All right, you know, the stuffed animals was one thing, but this is taking a turn I really don't want it to. That mic is big. To the world's famous hall of Pandoran luminaries. Come face to face with icons of the planet's turbulent history and hear how each met their grisly fate. Please watch your step and marvel at some of the unexpected ends of life's grand design. There's nowhere else to go. Come on, let's just get through it. Luigi says, notice me, guy. I do. I see you. Like in an avatar sense, like Jake Sully. I see you, Jake Sully. Ah, uh, badass Barack. Continent origin of a word I don't want to try to pronounce. Weak spots, throat, bloodthirsty disposition, positive attitude. Uh, <laughs> I love how that's a strong point. Uh, hunting Borox is best avoided by small children, the elderly, and anyone with a heartbeat. Seriously, just run. They're not even tasty. Uh, let's check out this one. Uh, spor uh, splore gold, the flesh slayer. Length 15 meters, width 54 meters, breath awful. It is said that certain rituals involving colored barrels can raise spore spore holes from its aquatic slumber to perform a labyrinth dance routines. Perfect. Who is this? My name is Elaheim. Hi. Now we're not strangers, so I can invite you into my house. Stranger danger. Professor Prenumbra Oasis. 510, 143, stuffed and mounted. Cause of death, stabbing. Last words, what are you gonna do? Stab me? Perfect. This is a safe place. Uh, wait, do we get to look at these guys too? Oh, incendiary grenades. Sorry, I like reading things when I go through the game. Do you guys mind? Do you guys want me to play it or do you guys want me to read these things? I think they're funny. Oh. <laughs> Status deactivated. What? What is this doing? Oh, fuck me. I fucked up. Hold on. Uh, damn it. I clicked out of it. No, I can't go back. Oh, wait. Oh, you can just look at him. Boom, not to be confused with his brother, Boom, was the first mate of Captain Flint. As his name subtly implies, Boom enjoyed hurling caustic explosives and making things blow up by any means necessary. Who around here doesn't? And if you guys have played the Borderlands games, you'll recognize some of these people. Some of them you won't. Some of them you will. A DIY fancy accessory. Owner shade. Manufacturer shade. For the man who wants to feel fancy without sacrificing this certain... Je ne sais pas quality. Perfect reading. Pandoran resident and fine dining connoisseur. Shade was held in high esteem by his fellow neighbors in Oasis. Not in the least bit insane. He will be missed. <laughs> really not into this at all. You guys, you guys don't know how to speak French? It's really easy. You just make words. Alright, what is this? A neuron-linked cannon, weapon type slag, Gen ID, Professor Naka, Na, Nakayama, modification self-inflicted. Oh yeah? Well, would a crazy person attach a robot gun arm to their spine? Professor Nakayama. Crazy person. And... He's still got his Hyperion ID chip. Oh. Really? Keep it. Hyperion pays out a nice bonus for recovering those things. Oops. Remember, guys, that if you donate, when we get to a certain donation goal, I will eat cans of squid, or a can of squid. Or smoke, smoked oysters, or octopus and garlic sauce. They're all here. So if you guys got a little bit of extra money and you want a shit ton of games and you want to help a charity, check out that Hundle Bundle. Why, when I try to game and I have a hard time, I reach out for a for a delicious Humble Bundle. Humble Bundle, because you're worth it. Oh, I remember this guy. He was an asshole. Formerly a scientific researcher who worked for Hyperion, Professor Nakayama was obsessed with cloning Handsome Jack, who he carried a certain fondness for. Killed by stairs! <laughs> rejoinder? You must be more traumatized than I am. I like he's like, killed by stairs. Who's this woman? 
She's sexy. Let's check out her, her weird hat. The brain of Commandant Steely. Military grade carbon nanotube polymer. I know what that is. Contents a brain. Still includes augmentation by INAC. All that made sense to me. I'm not confused at all. The once ruthless leader of the Crimson Lance, Commandant Steele. Commandant. Her leaderness came to an end when she was skewered by a monstrous tentacle. <laughs> she later died. Not like that, guys, you sick bastards. Some kind of cyborg zombie thing. Can we just get on with this? You killed helper bot and lost and and lost all my viewers. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's just open it. I'm about to sneeze. No, I don't oh. want to sneeze. It's locked. Oh come on, are you serious? Well, this feels like we came in the back, so maybe there's a front door somewhere. Yeah, I don't know if we can get out there with the murderers all over the place. Maybe one of those bodies has a key or something, and we just missed it. Wow, well, I mean, if we just randomly found the key, I mean, that would be amazing. Hmm. If we randomly found the key, that would be amazing. Am I gonna... Why is it... No, I don't want to do that! Alright, so let's randomly maybe find the key. And I totally forgot about the fact that that guy is missing. Ah! Oh, God damn it! What the... Why? Why? How are you? Oh, God. Not great. Are you two not just the handsomest devils I've seen in ages? <laughs> you son of a bitch! Don't do that! <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to scare you guys! Shade's face will remember that. It just, it just happened, you know? Things happen. They happen! What? 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 What is this? Is this part of the, like, some kind of ride or something? Since the moment we walked in, it's just been one big freaky puppet show, so Thanks. I... Thanks! I'm Shade. <laughs> this is my world of curiosities. Let me tell you right off the very bat, I am deeply sorry that you strapping young threshers of gentlemen here have to witness it in such sad disrepair. Time can take a toll, you know, and on more things than one. <laughs> but unfortunately, we are closed for renovations. That doesn't mean you have to leave, of course. No. <laughs> I mean, we can do other things. You're already here. <laughs> we, we can just hang out. Listen, we're gonna make a deal, all right? We're buying a thing, something valuable. <laughs> you know anything about that? Hunter S. Thompson. I know a lot of things about a lot of things, and this thing in particular. <laughs> You're Hyperion, right? Here for August. Yeah, if you want to buy something strange and illegal, this is certainly the place to do it. Sexy. How many of you would bang shade? Be honest. My grandpappy. He's the one who came up with this place. He was a real thinker, you know, a real lover of animals. <laughs> <laughs> Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. But the place itself. What happened? <laughs> stuck in traffic? You Hyperion guys, you're usually so punctual. Getting 10 million together can't be too much trouble for you guys. I assume you'd have that kind of scratches walk around money. Yeah, well, we almost died, so. Oh, Sometimes me, saying guys. nothing is the best. Didn't know you chipped a toenail. All right, well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August. But I figure you know that already. We're doing a business, guys, at the business factory. Mm. Is, uh, is Vasquez coming? I am Vasquez. Vasquez is sick. Let's not say anything. Vasquez, is he coming? Yeah, he can't or couldn't uh, make it. He had to process um, process a new marketing plan. <laughs> you know, with his new job and all, and had to make an impression. <laughs> but we're here to close this out for him. So, what's your name? Just so we're on. Uh, Equal footing. Uh, my name is. You have one, right? You want my name? My name's ten million dollars for all you should care. You're a vault key to me, okay? That's it. Okay, okay. Look, I don't know what the hell you think you're doing, but this is not how I operate. All right? 
I expected Vasquez. And I got you. Yeah. So let's all get friendly real fast. Vasquez, I mean, not I'm Vasquez. Trying. Gotcha. Aren't I trying? Huh? Aren't I trying? You're trying. So, let's try again. My name's August. What's yours? Do you want me to guess? You can pout all you want. You're not getting my name. Just sit down and let's do this so we can move on with our lives. Yay! Telltale Games forcing us into situations that we shouldn't have been in based okay. on our choices. So, let's see the money. Cash only for this deal. Ah. Uh, brought big bills, the kind that are hard to break. Oh, we got the money. Don't worry. Now, where's the key? Eh, I'll be a good host. We charmed him, chat. He's he wants us. Oh. so pretty in your miserable lives this thing will practically dance at your wedding state-of-the-art alien crap I'd use it myself but you know the monsters and all me yeah I mean don't get me wrong for a vault key it's fine but you gotta remember we're from Hyperion okay so, <laughs> okay, okay, so the way I uh, usually do these things is... wait what I <sighs> I just don't like it. I got a... I got a feeling. What feeling? Look, you said when I started to get a feeling about something that I should tell you and that we should walk away. I'm changing the game. If we get to 660,000, I'll, I'll eat one of these right here on stream. If we want to put further goals, we can. Like 666, I'll eat the other ones. That's changed. I changed the rules. We're now at $660,000. If you want to see me eat squid, smoked oysters, or octopus and garlic sauce. Done. Right? What are you possibly feeling right now? We're almost done. I get intuitions about this stuff. We're good here. Everyone I think 666 might be too much. Key from August and go. We're taking it down. Yeah, he just wants to buy a key from me. Sasha, what the hell are you... I just... I just don't like it. They've had this dumb attitude on their dumb faces since the moment they walked in. What are you talking about? He's been a giant dick this entire time. I mean, look at that guy. Look at his face. What's wrong with his face? <laughs> you can't trust a face like that. He's hiding something, August. Hey, Sasha. Sasha, listen to me. I... You're making a big mistake. This money we're offering? is life-changing and it's right here i know you don't trust hyperion yeah you think and i know you have zero reason to trust us but i'm telling you you're not like those assholes in fact we're trying to get back at one of the worst assholes up there and we need that key to do it so please take the money and let us screw over one of the biggest jerks on hyperion please so you're saying this key will get used to screw over some wretched Hyperion stooge? That's exactly what we're saying. All right, I'm sold. Awesome, let's do this. Well, just wait, just wait. Uh, August, everything's fine now. I mean, I don't know. If you really think... No, no, it's okay. The feeling's gone, August. Let's do the deal. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe today's not right for this. If, if, if things are weird, if you ha have a feeling about things. No, 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 I was wrong. I'm going to stay quiet. Definitely. I'm going to let her convince him. August, what, what are you doing? Let's just finish this deal so we no, can... No, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I was... I thought I was going to deal with Vasquez, and now this, I just... I just think we should call it off until I, I think things are square. Maybe another time, fellas. Hun, we're here. We should just do this. Really? No. I made up my mind. August, wait! What the? Reese, this is your department. Do something. All right, guys. We have a choice to make. Things are getting serious. How do we stop them?
All right, guys. Are we going to blow his mind or are we going to break his heart? Chat, only you can decide. I Just go ahead and throw out whatever you want in the chat. And we will either blow his heart or break his mind. Or blow his mind, break his heart, whatever. Break his heart? Blow his mind, blow his mind, break his heart, break his heart, blow his mind, blow his heart, blow his other heart. Break, mind, mind, blow. Okay, half of you are going to be upset with no matter what I pick because it looks pretty even right now. A lot of you are saying blow his mind. All right, we're going to blow him. Here we go, guys. August. Actually, that's okay. You don't know it yet. Know what? That this... This is it. You can't see that one day. Maybe ten years from now. Maybe ten months. Maybe tomorrow. You're gonna think back on right now. And scream to the stars for mercy of death. Just so you'll not have to live in the wondering of what could have been. What if I had seen? chance by the throat what if i had beaten my fears taken what was so rightfully mine what if i had won i am a winner reese <laughs> i am a winner <laughs> yes Yes! Realize your potential! What a steaming load of scag crap. Well, well, look who decided to show her face. I was just about to get to my favorite part. You know, where you come in and you ruin my life, you no-class scheming Pandoran scum! A oh, nice haircut, you lying Hyperion jackass! It is a nice haircut! Oh, shut up! Stop it, stop it! You're getting dirt in my eye! Oh, that sucks, because I'm trying to get it in your lying mouth! My for Fiona! <laughs> Sorry, right, I fucked right. that up. <laughs> Mission accomplished! <laughs> and I'm not lying, okay? I'm embellishing. Remember, he's telling this story. You, anyway? you weren't at the deal. Of course I was, you dope. I can't believe you still haven't figured that out. I knew you were dense the moment I... Your turn, Fiona. My turn for what? Tell me your side of the deal. You couldn't have asked me first? You kidnapped me hours ago. I guess I could have. You guess? I've been baking in the sun with Rax dive bombing me for the last. Okay, I get it. This fraud conveniently left out the most important part of this whole thing. Which is. Oh, this ought to be good. No, yeah, go on. I can't wait. It's complicated. The ball key's shattered. Let's just say it's complicated. It's, um, well, it's complicated. Like my Facebook status. It's mine! Give it! Stop! What's your freaking problem, man? Wait, 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 wait. How is that... The most important thing. Did you forget the part about it all being your fault? Oh, come on, that was not my fault. Not all of it. Are you making a face under there? I can't tell what you're thinking if... Mm. Okay, fine. But let me start at the beginning. So sometimes when we're playing this, because it's, it's, we're playing basically a story being told by people, sometimes things happen in their perspective, not what necessarily happened. I was born here, on Pandora, in a city cast in shadow known as Hollow Point. It's in a cave. Anyway, for a long time it was just me and my sister. Just a couple of kids stealing what we could to survive. How she showed so tan if she was, if she was raised in a cave? Until we met Felix. We tried to nab his wallet. Not only did he stop us, he showed us how to do it better. We've been working together ever since. This is taking too long. She's waiting. This latest scam was our biggest yet. The one that would set us up for life. That sounds familiar. What can I say? 
A lot of these stories start out the same way. Fiona, relax. There's nothing to be nervous about. Felix raised you into a life of crime. There. It looks good. If August's offense worth his cut, he'll be selling it to some Hyperion stooge. It should be good enough to fool one of them. Not too many people have seen of Old King, real or otherwise. The paint may still be wet. Be sure not to let anyone touch it. There are only a couple spots to worry about, but it's best not to risk it. So have them keep their hands to themselves. Keep them from touching it? <laughs> How do you expect me to do that? I don't know. But you'll think of something. You always do. You wily old man. <laughs> hey, Stop. You're a pro. This is what you do. Your sister may have brought in the mark, but you're the one that'll close the deal by playing whatever role you need to to get the job done. If she introduces you as a tiny psycho, you'll squat down and scream about poop trains. Okay? That first introduction is who you are. You two have to work together. I'll back you up if needed. Well, I have the shiniest meat bicycle. Exactly. <laughs> Showtime. Fiona, when she gives you your role, you play it as best you can. The deal came together much faster than I'm comfortable with, but it's worth the risk. So it's best to take precautions against the unforeseen. The purple skag is not the type of place you walk into without a backup plan. What's that for? It's only for emergencies. One bullet. That's right. You'll always be able to talk your way out of more situations than you can shoot your way out of. But in case you can't, you can shoot yourself in the head, because there's one bullet. Wet paint. No touch. I feel like we're in, like, dry by the time they got there. I don't know. Where is he from? I'm from Florida. Recular TV, welcome to the stream. My name's Elheim. Nice to meet you. Thanks for showing up here. And thank you guys for all you guys that are here hanging out with me. Um, I, I am really excited to stream on here for, the, for uh, Yogs, obviously. Uh, I, I've uh, met in the Little Wood, and um, he's a, Martin's an amazing person. And uh, I was asked to come hang out and try to raise a little bit of money. Right now, we got an uh, a agreement going on. If we can get to 660000 by the time I am done with this stream, which we still got some hours to go, uh, I will be eating some disgusting food like smoked oyster, squid, something like that. Remember, uh, we're here for charity, guys, and we're here to um, do as much as we can. You guys can get some cool games with the Humble Bundle. So just throwing it out there. It's an honor to be here. I'm really happy to have you guys here hanging out with me. I'm very thankful and blessed uh, to be doing what I can to, uh, to help out. So thanks, guys. Let's move around. And let's look at this sick man. Okay, do I have to walk up to him? Can I just... Oh, there we go. Yeah, you get it all out. I guess. He's like a mummy. Look at his hair. It's like a... Like a teenage girl. I don't know. Tear down the poster. Yeah, let's do that. We're getting closer to the goal. Are you serious? 2k left to go I just didn't think we I I, I, I some people were like oh you want to eat that no I definitely don't want to eat that I just thought that 666,000 was a, was a lot to ask out of you guys that's why I lowered it I'll be totally fine if we I mean it was suck because I want charity to raise money but like I won't cry about it <laughs> if I don't have to eat this shit Oh shit! Oh god damn it! How long can you stab a man? Uh. Uh. Hey, little psychos. Right, enough of this stabbing. Um. Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Hello, please react to Pleasure Elf. What the fuck is Pleasure Elf? Oh god, no. I don't even I don't even want to know. We're not even going down that that road. This has happened before. I don't even know why I asked. I should have just ignored it and not read it in chat. That's my mistake. Maybe they're carving out a meat bicycle, hopefully. Let's check that out. Ouch. All right, Tector. Let's let's talk. Great. Felix didn't mention anything about a bouncer. It's a Yogs cast thing. It's a Yogs cast song. Pleasure Elf. This isn't going to be something where, like, I go check it out and you guys are like, it's a Yogs cast thing. It's fine. It's perfect. And then I see a girl shit in a cup and another girl eat it. Okay? It's not going to be like that because that has happened to me before. All right? It's like, oh, you can check this out. It's this thing called glass ass. It's not a big deal. And then I see glass shattering a man's asshole. Is this going to be one of those situations? Please. Please, please, please. I've been through this before, and it never works out quite the way I expect it to. I'm gonna... Hold on a second. 